Yeah, how long is your tour? I'm touring for the next three months, all over. Check MarylandStandUp.com for details. <laughs> should have said that on my earlier show. You know what else? I forgot to tell you about that. I love you being a troubadour on Girls. Say that again. Remember when you were a troubadour on Gilmore Girls? Aww, totally. It was so fun to see you, and it was like in the middle of, I don't know how I, I don't know when that was. Was that before 24? I think so. Okay. I think so, yeah. And then I didn't catch it the first time around. It was when I was rewatching all the DVDs. Yeah. Where's the troubadour? Yeah, the creator of that show, uh, Amy Sherman Palladino, she is like a big, she knew me from like the local scene in LA because she's had other musicians and different. You've done music? I've never, <clears> that's the only time I've ever heard you sing. Play guitar. I had like a, uh, a comedy group with a friend of mine who also did stand up. Yeah. And so I never really learned how to. She has actually a better, became a better player. Uh -huh. And we became, we became like okay, even though we were like joking about it. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah. How fun. Okay. Can you tell us how you got into stand up? Is this part of our interview? Yes. Oh my gosh. I was. Uh, I went to school for painting, art school, and then I started doing performance art. Do you know performance art? Yes. It's like, yeah, with no materials. Art with, without just using your body and your ideas. And I started taping up my boobies and my vagina and saying, these are not for you. And people were laughing at me, and I didn't know why they were laughing, so I got into comedy. Were you ever a mime? Was it mimish? <laughs> no, I was never a mime. I am, um, my mime skills are lacking. How did this get I could probably brush up on my mime skills, to be honest with you. How did it get from your performance art class into, onto a stage? Well, I was uh, doing stuff in San Francisco in bars and coffee shops and weird shows, and then I m met a bunch of comedians who were also doing these live shows that were not comedy clubs, you know, these like, fringe shows, and then I went to LA and started doing live shows and was able to get cast from, you know, different people seeing me doing these live shows. What do you like about being on the stage or in front of a live So that's what I always tell people who ask me they want to get into it, is just take it up on stage, you know? Did you just jump up on your first stage and? Yeah, I mean, I was very um, uh, neurotic and scared, but just kind of did it anyway. Do you have a game plan for your shows, or do you play off more off the audience? <laughs> I heard that, did you really straddle a guy who was yelling? Who stuff? said that? I don't know, I read this last week. I was like, I don't know if it was true or not, but I'll ask. There was like I was just yelling, talking about that. Someone's yelling like Yeah, don't about. make a habit of yelling at me from the audience because you want me to straddle you. That was a one-time only thing. Come to the shows and laugh and have a good time. I mean, there, you know, there might be some nudity, people taking off their clothes or wetting their pants, it happens. That's but what the show's like. What happens at the show stays at the show. Um, I talk about, it's mostly uh, personal. I talk about my life, I talk about 24 a little bit, I talk about having a kid and not necessarily in enjoying that process, which I think people can relate to. And uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, fantasies, fantasies of mine in the show. What was the one thing that really surprised you about being a mother? You're like, what are, are you, do you have kids? Not yet. <laughs> you, well, you've worked here for 17 years. Did, what, did you start when you were a baby? You started when My you were like school. five? <laughs> That's really great. Um, I have a two-year-old. You do? The thing about having a kid, which is pretty cliche, but it's so true, is that everything that you worried about before seems dumb you know once you once you're responsible for for a human being you're know, like what all the stuff i worried about you know like oh my career or you know what other people think or whatever guys i was dating all my the problems that seemed huge just pale into comparison to like oh i have to keep this human alive and safe and nothing else really is a big deal your son is here with you, and you have family here. What are you going to do with him in Arizona? Um, what are we going to do? I don't know. We might have to visit this lava tube. No, we probably won't have the time to do that. Do you come you know, we're going to eat sushi. We're going to go swimming. We're going to take nature hikes. We probably won't. <laughs> 
Do you come to Arizona often? Do you have like you have family here? Yes, I have a sister here. I I like it here. It's a really cool place. I probably don't come here often enough. Let's get to um between. We I mean, I'm from California, but you come to Phoenix and you just get into the desert. You know, it's even more deserty. It's I very like brown. it. Very brown. Yeah. It's enjoyable. Um, that's <laughs> everybody knows you as Chloe drama, and in the comedy, some people are just discovering. Is it hard going back and forth from drama to comedy? Um, it's strange to do comedy and drama. It's just like different muscles, but it's a lot of fun to. You know, people are coming out because they know me from 24, so I get to show them a different side of myself. So it's always, it's pretty fun. I love it. I saw your show last time, and I think you're fantastic. <gasps> Thank you. You did? Yes, I loved it. This and then electrical outlet uh, over your shoulder. Okay, let's go. get to 24. You let the Russians say Jack. Can we yes. get Jack back from the Russians? Can we please have another 24? Yeah, you're so right. You said that when we were off camera. Like, I have to get Jack back from the Russians. There's no two ways about it. Why don't we film 24 in Russia? How crazy would that be? I think my husband would kill me. It already, like, London is, you know, awesome city, and that was still really hard to be away from home. Going to Russia, that'd be, that'd be tough. Talk a little bit We're about gonna have to, though. That's where Jack is. We gotta get him back. Um, tell us about the experience in London shooting there. You took your whole casting crew there. Never been done before. Well, yes. Well, we had only a few people. We got our crew was all English, and um, it was it was fantastic. It was a great experience. And be, kind of being away from home, we really focused on the job, and I think it gave it a uh, a different look and a different feel, and it felt very international and you know very moody, and it kind of played into the plot lines and gave a certain. Uh, tone and feel to the show that was really fun. I think they turned out amazing, especially the last episode I really loved. Except for the silent clock. I was so sad when I heard the silent clock. I know. I know. It reminds me of Edgar and his silent clock. I know. Clock. Who got the silent clock? Audrey. Oh, I know. I, was, I don't even pay attention to the clock part. No, that was really sad. Yeah. Really, that. I'm very sad about Audrey. Two more questions. Um, but I think it's good for the characters just because of how deeply it affects people. So it's good for the drama of it, you know, that now, like, her dad has to go on and Jack has to go on and, and it, like, he's going to he's gonna get get back at everyone because of Audrey. Moments for those two. Um, not for Audrey, but um, for them. Two more questions. One is tell us what projects you're working on. What else can we see you in the near future for Maryland? Um, a lot of stand-up. I'll be doing a lot of stand-up for the next few months. MarylandStandup.com for a city near you. And, uh, you know, developing some comedy, developing a sitcom right now. And, you know, we'll see about 24. <laughs> I want to keep you on Fox. We love you in the Fox family. What would your... Let's, let's make a show that centers around Maryland. Okay. Do you, do you tell me. How does it go? No, you tell me. Give me it's... your perfect Maryland Fox-centric show. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I, you know, I have a fantasy, like, I'm a mom, but I have to go, like, all vigilante. So I'm just like, oh, I'm just normal. And then I have to, like, go on the attack to save my kids or something. That could be really fun. Because then you get, like, the intrigue and the action, but I just, like, I'm just a normal lady. And then the next thing you know, I'm like, whoosh, 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 like, kicking some ass. See my, mo see my moves? Powerful. Perfect. <laughs> Thank good. you so much. <laughs> You're so awesome. Thank you.